back live in Houston, the Democratic debate. And we are back now for a final round of questions. One question for each candidate. We're going to go in reverse order from the opening statement. And candidates, uh, the question is on the quality of resilience. Uh, no president can succeed without resilience. Every president confronts crises, defeats, and mistakes. So I want to ask each of you, what's the most significant professional setback you've had to face? How did you recover from it? And what did you learn from it? Vice President Biden. I, uh, I never counted any professional setback I have as a serious setback. Uh, there's things that are important, things that are unimportant. We're going to clear the protesters now, just one minute. Senator Biden, we'll start the clock again. Our, I'm sorry. We're sorry. Go ahead. There's setbacks and there's setbacks. And uh, I think the most critical setback that can occur to anyone is to... Uh, um, lose uh well my, my dad had an expression he said joey it's not a question of succeeding whether you get knocked down it's how quickly you get up and uh and you say you never explain and never complain and then go on to say that the only obligation that really matters the most important thing is family and so i was raised to believe that that was the center of everything family and it could be judged on based how you treat your family and and how you went from there and i uh, um it took, you know, Kierkegaard said, faith sees best in the dark. Right after I got elected, my wife and daughter were killed in an automobile accident, and my, and my, uh, my two sons are badly injured. And I had just been elected, not sworn in. And uh, I lost my faith for a while. I came back. And then later, when my son Bo came home from Iraq and with a terminal disease, and uh, a year later, a year and a half later, losing him was like losing part of my soul. But the fact is that I learned that the way you deal with it is you deal with finding purpose, purpose in what you do. And that's why I, I hope, I hope he's proud of me today because he wanted to make sure I didn't run for president, but I stayed engaged because when you get hit badly, whether you're losing a job or you're raising a family like my dad, where you have to make that longest walk up the stairs to tell your kid you can't live here anymore. Dad lost his job. You know, we, we've all went through that some form or another. And it just takes... It just for me.